Lesson 3.1, Solving Quadratic Equations. How do you solve a quadratic equation by graphing and algebraically? So how do we factor when a is no longer 1? So a is now a larger than 1 number. How do we factor these? So same thing, we always start with the GCF. I'm looking for common numbers or common variables. There are none, so I know that my GCF was a 1. I now always start off with A times C, somebody better add up to B. A times C is 2 times 18, which is a 36. My B is a negative 15. What two numbers multiply to give me 36, but when I add them, I get negative 15? Not quite sure. I know negative 1 times a negative 36 will multiply together to give me 36. But when I add these, I get a negative 37. That's not the negative 15 that I needed, so that doesn't work. If negative 1 didn't work, I'm going to try negative 2. Negative 2 times a negative 18 will multiply to give me 36. But when I add these, I get a negative 20. That is not the negative 15 that I needed, so 2 didn't work. So if 2 didn't work, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try negative 3. Negative 3 times a negative 12 will multiply to give me 36. They add together to give me negative 15. So that means the two numbers that I needed were negative 3 and negative 12. Because A was not 1, I cannot just do parentheses right now. When A is not 1, you have to start with an area model. This is a negative 3. Your negative 3 goes here. Negative 12, your negative 12 goes here. Why do we put negative 3 and negative 12? It's because this is how we chose to split up this minus 15x. These should be x's because he was an x. If we combine these back up, you get a minus 15x. These two squares here go for the 2x squared and the 18. We needed to have four different products to look at. The a times c adds up to b list tells us how to split up this b middle into the two parts that we needed. You have to do the list to get the two. Now we're just going to look at the top row. What is the GCF? Your GCF comes out here. What number do both 2 and negative 12 have in common? They both have a 2. How many x's do they have in common? They both have 1x. The minute I found out this one, this is an area model, you're multiplying to get the rest of it. So 2x times whatever goes here gives me a 2x squared. 2x times x gives me 2x squared. 2x times whatever goes here gives me this square right here. So 2x times a negative 6 gives me a negative 12. x times whatever number goes here gives me this negative 3x. x times a negative 3 gives me the negative 3x. Does negative 3 times negative 6 give you the 18? It does. What you found on the sides are your parentheses. So this was a 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. This was an x minus 6. There's your x minus 6. And you just factored it. So these two numbers went here so that we could have an area model. You split the b, and then you could find the sides. Let's go ahead and do number 14. Is there a GCF that they all have in common? There is not. My GCF is a 1. A is not 1. Since A is not 1, then I know that I am going to have to do the area model. The 5P squared comes here. The negative 48 comes here. The middle. We don't know how to split the middle. We have to do the A times C adds up to B list to find the middle. A times C is a negative 240. My B is a 22. I need to multiply two numbers together to give me 240, to give me negative 240, but when I added them, I got 22. So let's try negative 1. Negative 1 times 240 does multiply together, right? But when I added these, I got 239, which is not what I needed. So 1 didn't work. Try 2. Negative 2 times a 120 did multiply to give me the negative 240. But when I added these, I got 118, not the number that I needed. So 2 didn't work. Try 3. Negative 3 times 80 would give me the negative 240.
but when I added these together, I got 77, not the 22. So three didn't work, let's try four. Negative four times 60 does multiply to give me the negative 240, but when I added these, I got a 56, not the 22. So negative four didn't work, let's try negative five. Negative five times 48 gives me negative 240, but when I added these, I got 43, not the 22 that I needed. So we're going to keep going, keep trying. Try negative six, then negative 240. But when I added these, I got 44, not the 22 that I needed. Negative seven doesn't work. Last one I want to try is negative eight. Negative eight times 30 is a negative 240. That's right. When I added those together, I got 22. I finally got the 22 that I needed, which meant I finally just found the two numbers that I need to go into here. So you just found a negative 8 and a positive 30. This was to split this P. So these need to have P's next to them. So all we need to do is find one GCF, and then the rest of it is a multiplication game. 5 and 30 can both be divided by 5. P squared and P can both be divided by P. The GCF between these two is 5P. Now I just multiply. 5P times P is going to give me 5P squared. 5p times 6 gives me a 30p. p times a negative 8 gives me a negative 8p. Negative 8 times 6 gives me a negative 48. All the multiplication works out. These numbers went here. My answers are the sides. So parenthesis 1 is a 5p minus 8. Parenthesis 2 is a p plus 6. Problem number 15. Looking for a GCF, I see no numbers they could all divide, and I can see no variables that all divide. So my GCF is a 1. Because A is not a 1, I need to do an area model. The 3H squared goes up here. The negative 40 goes down here. I have to find these two, which means I need to split him. Those are H's, so there's my H's. What do I split it into? You have to do your A times C. Somebody better adds up to B list. To find it. A times C is a negative 120. B is a negative 19. What two numbers multiply together to give me negative 120? And when I add them together, I get a negative 19. 5 and negative 24 multiply together to give me negative 120. When I add them, I get a negative 19, which meant that these are the two numbers that I need to put here so I can do my area model. Positive 5, positive 5, negative 24, negative 24. To find my parentheses, I have to find the sides. Just look at the top row. 3 and negative 24, the GCF is a 3. H squared and H, the GCF is an H. Once I found the 1, I need to multiply to find the rest. 3H times H gave me the 3H squared. 3h times a negative 8 gives me the negative 24h. h times 5 gives me the 5h. 5 times negative 8 is the negative 40. I found my sides, so I know my parentheses. This is a 3h plus 5, and this is an h minus 8. So here are my parentheses, and I am done. Last problem I'm going to do with you. 12, 5, negative 2. They have no numbers in common, there's no variables in common, so my GCF is a 1. A is not 1, which means I'm going to have to do the area model. 12x squared goes up here, the minus 2 goes down here. I somehow need to figure out how to split these x's up, which means I need to do my A times C, somebody better add up to B list. A times C is a negative 24. My B is a 5. I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 24, but when I add them together, I get 5. So I know negative 3 times 8 would give me the negative 24. I also know that 3 times a negative 8 would also give me the negative 24. But which one of them give me the positive 5? If I add these together, I do get a positive 5. If I add these together, I get a negative 5. It had to have been a positive 5 because B is a positive 5 which means these are the two numbers that I need to go right here. Be very, very careful about your negative signs 
they change everything. So that was a negative three and that was a positive eight. Now that I have my area, I need to find the sides because the sides are gonna tell me what my parentheses are. So 12 and eight, they have a GCF of four. X squared and X have a GCF of X. The minute I found the one, I multiply to find the rest of the sides. 4X times 3X would give me a 12X squared. 4X times 2 gives me an 8X. 2 times a negative 1 gives me the negative 2. Negative 1 times 3X is a negative 3X. I found all my sides. So this is 4X minus 1. And this is a 3X plus 2. And this is my fully factored problem. There are four problems remaining for this factoring. Please do these for independent practice.